For many years, getting a job in tech was extremely easy. And I'm not talking about the juniors, juniors always struggled. But for the average developer, you were pretty much living in a fantasy land, right? Every single day you were hit up by recruiters, either via email, either via phone call. Someone was reaching out to you at least once a day. That's how it used to be. Now it's kind of changed. So now in this video, I want to talk about the state of the development scene for newbies that are looking to break into tech to change careers. What should you expect? Because if you come in with the wrong expectations, you'll be burned out really quick okay because it's life right so let's get into it the first thing i want to talk about is the volume of applications previously in order to actually get a job you needed roughly 300 job applications assuming that you had a portfolio you had some skills and whatnot um, that's what you were looking for so roughly one month if you're doing everything right you should have enough applications out there and one month later or two months later you should be hired okay that's how it used to be you should aim for at least 5,000 job applications and some of you might be scared oh that's too much and you might be thinking maybe it's time for me to start a business an smma or something like that this is the reality right now if you just want to call the apply where you just press a button well, everyone else does that. So you need to be able to apply to everything that's out there. 5,000 job applications, that should be the number that you want to aim for. The reason why I brought up SMMA is because SMMA is social media marketing agency. And this is a new like business model, not new because it's been for like 10 years. It's been a trend for like 10 years. But what's really interesting in SMMA is that if you want to be successful there, you need to do a lot of cold outreach. So that means at least 200, 300 cold outreaches per day, email, cold calls, etc., etc. Job in tech is going to pay well. Maybe right now you won't be getting the 100K a year job or 200K a year job or 300K a year job, but in two, three years you will. So because you'll have so much leverage in the future, you need to do extra work right now to get in so you can cash out later. If you go to a regular job, which is gonna pay you 40, 50, 60K, it might be easier to get in there, but because it's easier to get in there, you won't be making as much money in the longer. Because tech is the future, no matter what like people are saying, like tech is the future. Like you cannot really question that, like everything is moving towards tech and getting into the field is like, pretty much the most important thing that you can do if you are interested in this field in the first place. As I said, you need to treat yourself like you are a business and you need to market yourself and you market yourself by applying, okay? By putting your resume in front of someone. The more you pull that lever at the slots machine, the more success you'll get. It might take 5,000 job applications. If you're not okay with that, go away, make a tea and uh, get some biscuits and dip your biscuits in the tea and go, go to bed, okay? This is the reality of things, at least right now. If you are just starting out learning code right now, maybe in a year it's gonna be different, okay? But if you are looking exactly right now, in October, November and December are months where nobody's gonna hire. Okay, so if you start applying now, you might get a response back in February. So if you get discouraged in January because you didn't hear back from the jobs you applied in November and December, well, you'll be missing out. That's the first thing, mass supply. And there are ways to do that. You either do it yourself and you waste your time or you pay someone five bucks on Upwork and they can do it for you. Or you can automate the process. I've made videos about that. You can check them out on my channel. You need to leave your emotions behind. You cannot be emotional about this process. If you press that button, I know that you want to get the results. Press the button, oh, and you hope that something's gonna come out of it. No, it should be heartless when it comes to the job application process. You shouldn't feel discouraged if you see, unfortunately, we decided not to go with you. You shouldn't have any emotions whatsoever regarding this process. And I know it's hard and it's difficult, but you need to desensitize yourself. If you have emotions, if you have feelings regarding your rejections and whatnot, those will come at you and they will eat your psychic and you'll be destroyed. You shouldn't care at all. Those people don't know you. The robots don't know you. Nobody cares about you. You shouldn't care about them. I'm telling you this like a big brother. Your job is to continue innovating and improving yourself and transforming yourself and learn marketing and sales, how to sell yourself, how to interview, how to build more complex things. Like it's an infinite game and you need to look at it like that rather than some certain milestones where you have to expect something back. This is a new paradigm where that we are living in. I guess all 
jobs and all fields that are using your intellect as some primary uh, resource will have to adapt to this new paradigm of thinking, if that makes sense, if in game. The person who does more, the person who does better, the person who is most creative, the person who does it faster is gonna win. And your job is to figure out how to become that person because you can train yourself to become that person. It's nothing unreal. You can train yourself, you can figure out what you don't know. So let's say you apply to 2000 jobs and you are getting no responses back, like nothing. Are your emails even sending? Have you tried that? You know, maybe A, B test different resumes. Maybe have one resume that's black background, one that's white background, one that has a picture. I, I don't think you can put picture, but anyway, like you need to, think about like like a scientist right as you are solving a coding problem how can you solve the application problem and again this is something that you have to think about maybe you can find some obscure websites if you outsource your job applications you can do more networking so yesterday in the call with my guys someone brought up the topic that software engineers go to climbing events like you know those places where you climb on the wall that's so true i know so many software engineers that go to those uh, places, right? It's super funny. And jujitsu, we made this joke. What if you buy a t-shirt and you put, I love JavaScript on it, and then you start talking with someone there and then they are software engineers. It sounds silly, right? But you need to start thinking outside the box if you want to get different results than what you're getting right now. Okay, or if you will start doing this stuff. Cold applying works, networking works, as long as you are unemotional. Another thing that I wanna tell you is that you shouldn't look for junior jobs. So if you come in thinking that, hey, I'm a junior and I'm looking for a company that can take care of me and grow me and support me and cuddle me and you are failing, okay? You are, I'm telling you right now, quit this profession and go do something else maybe mcdonald's maybe kfc maybe burger king i think those places are better for you nobody wants juniors for me this was clear from the moment i started learning code like how can i not be a junior how can i be a senior straight away and of course oh but you cannot be senior without being junior i'm gonna have those people in the chat because they don't understand the idea behind this do not create yourself as a junior try to aim to be a senior try to think about product try to understand like how this whole development process works because you won't be a senior but at least you'll aim to be that instead of aiming to be a junior because the you think about it like you are aiming to be here why not aim to be here because in the worst case if you are aiming to be here you'll end up here if you are aiming to be over here in the worst case you'll end up here so better than what you actually wanted in the first place that's why you need to work in a team for multiple months. That's why you need a mentor. That's why you need a coach. That's why you need code review. That's why you need a solid foundation. And then also forget about applying to junior jobs because those are like one or two, you know, in 1000 jobs. Don't do that. Apply to mid-level, senior. It's their job to figure out what your level is. But the, of course, if you have weather apps and Pokemon apps and all that stuff, yeah, I mean, you're just wasting their time and your time. And if you wanna be better, you need a coach, a mentor, a team. You need some solid projects to work on. If you want that, the first thing in the description. And if you wanna check out the program and see what is in store for you, check out the second link in the description. See ya.